Hello and welcome back to my Conqueror's Bed for a day tutorial. I'm Fresh Toast 2 and today we will be going over the rest of Barn Boys. To start off, activate the King Bee cutscene. This helps us out later in Barn Boys. Jump and hover onto the box and do the same for the platform above. This is a little trickier than it looks, but it becomes easy pretty quickly. Upon re-entering the barn, do two jumps to get across the first pole and one to get across the second. One thing to note about the third jump is if you do it incorrectly, it can cause a lane lag. To get Frankie down, five knives need to be thrown. Only the last knife needs to hit, however, so I throw the first knife without aiming. Now we come to one of the worst parts of the run, Haybot 1. As Haybot's movement is all random, the strategy for him is to aim at him the first time, then spam B. If you are lucky, he will move toward you for both hits. If not, you will most likely get hit and have to line up the next hit. Somehow, I managed to get good RNG here, but that happens less than 50% of the time. For Haybot 2, we will go over to our obliterator, current world record holder of Congress Pet Fur Day. Alright, so there are two ways you can do this. I will show you the slow way first. The slow way is just to walk back here. And wait for him to shoot missiles. And you basically do that with every single one of them. Now, if you want to... Take some risks. I will show you the faster way. In full. So what you're wanting, what, what you're gonna want to do is go towards this pipe. Stop at that little uh, little circle on the ground right in front of Frankie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn that way and walk straight at him. And walk back towards the pipe. And most of the time, it will hit the pipe. It's also a good idea to go back here and grab some chocolate while you're at it. And once in a while, Haybot will be a little stupid and the missiles will miss. That's why it's kind of risky to do. But that is the best way of doing it the fast way. Anyway, um, when you go to hit Haybot's button, position is key for the next area. Or the next hit, I mean, excuse me. Um... You're going to want to line up exactly, or just about exactly where I am at, and hit the button when it's right in front of you, in order to get the next fast hit correctly. See if I can do that. So hold directly back. One, two, three, four, five. Turn this way. Get hit by that guy. Walk towards Haybot. And make him chase you. Now, for this one, you can go a little further around him, and it doesn't matter. I generally like to get him in the back. So, for this hit, go towards this corner, turn around, walk directly at him. And it should hit him. Uh, generally, you're gonna, for this hit, you can't, re you're gonna want to stand right about here. And turn around. It's... Kinda hard to know exactly where to stand, but as long as you're in around the same area, it'll be okay. And that is Haybot 2. Thanks, Arb. Hold on a second here. Freeze frame. Let's touch on water physics for a second. Generally speaking, hovering and jumping in the water is the same exact speed, with actual swim being the slowest. However, since you have the most control of Conqueror while hovering, it is generally accepted as the fastest way. Next, ladder movement. The fastest way of ladders is to let go of the control stick, press A, and then hold up. In most cases involving ladders, we want to jump off and or hover to avoid the end animation done by Conqueror. For the first set of wires, you want to start to throw your knives before you line up with the wire. This will allow you to move on to the next wire as quickly as possible.
Be careful with this next ladder, as you can fall through it. For the second set of wires, make sure to learn a good line up point for the middle wire. This can be pretty tricky, so use Conker's head position and the pipe to your left as reference points. Head towards the exit and wait. There are a couple different ways of getting the next set of money. The first way is to get launched into the money, causing you to trigger it from above. The second way is to hover as soon as you are at the proper height to get to the platform and continue to hover until you get the money. The next section is one of the more technical parts of the entire run. Jump down into the water and hover to the path leading up to the sunflower. Notice how you can hover at any time while falling over water. This will be abused a few more times in the run. Keep following the path and get the first tickle beast. Head towards the entrance. Make sure not to jump into the water as you will lose your bees if you do. Proceed to take two to three steps once you touch the green area by the tickle bees and do a backwards momentum jump. Head onto the barn to get the third bees, again using a momentum jump and head up to the roof of the barn. High jump onto the top of the barn and do another high jump onto the ladder. Some ladders will be high jumped onto and others will not. It just depends on the circumstances. This is intentional. I'm showing you how not to walk on the bucket. Alright, moving on. Be careful with the next hover, as a late jump will kill some of your momentum and will leave you just short of the platform, usually killing you. It is possible to beat the wasp cycles, it just takes practice and good execution on the bucket and jumps on the ladders. Pretty simple stuff here for the moment, just make sure to execute and you should be okay. The next trick is to jump on the top of the wall near where the cheese was located to get the last set of tickle bees. Line up close to here and jump. The jump is scarier than it looks. A death can occur or that could happen. Let me show you how you're supposed to do it. You know the drill. The jump actually has a lot of leeway, so you don't need to activate your hover at the very last second for it to work. If you end up being too high, but don't think you will die, adjust conquer to the right. If you think you are going to die, adjust to the left. Follow this path after you gain the final beast. Jump down here to get the money. Hold down after you get the money so you are going in the correct direction. No need to go fast on this next part, as you need to wait for the bees to arrive anyway. There are a few ways to jump onto the boobs. 
The first is to high jump and hover, the second is to just jump underneath them, and the third is to high jump underneath them. When you are bouncing on the boobs, let go of the control stick. I cannot stress this enough. This is what happens when you use the control stick. Hold A when you fall into the boobs and hover after the first bounce. Hold A again for the second bounce. After you have performed the second jump, you are safe to use the control stick again. And that is Barn Boys, one of the hardest parts of the run. I'm Fresh Toast 2 and I will see you next time when we will go over the cow section and part of Bat's Tower. Come on video, stop. There we go.